People of YouTube, hello and welcome to Goat Simulator, a game that everyone probably already made a video about, but nonetheless, nonetheless we're here. The reason I'm kind of, well, the kind of the reason I'm making a video about this game is because Goat Fetish Bob, one of the uh, subscribers, uh, has given me the copy of the game and asked me to make a, make a review of it, so there we go. Um, plus, you know, you know, Bob's a great guy and he has a goat in the name and this is a goat simulator so we're, we're simulating anyhow so what this game is is basically something less than it could have been in my opinion i know it's probably going to be the you know charge of the children's hate brigade or whatever if if, if, if such people watch uh my stuff but um yeah, it's pretty cool i mean it's it's still quite decent but i was pretty disappointed when i found out that they actually included points in the game and like achievements because at first it kind of seemed it would be sort of very anarchic um, game where you kind of become the goat and do whatever and there is no judgment of you as such um, but just inherently by having the point system it slightly devalues the whole thing um, in, in, in my opinion and uh, it's still fun it's, it's there's still a lot of interesting cool stuff you can do on this small map and a lot of destruction havoc can cause it's like a it's sort of like a throwaway game where like you enjoy it a couple times and yeah that's, that's kind of cool and then then you're done because there's really no replayability unless people obviously make like their own um i, I guess mods or different maps because it's it's very much open to um uh it's actually what was the name of the, i think the proper term is that it's on the steam workshop so you can actually make uh, your versions or your your assets put your assets in the game and make whatever things you want to do with it so anyhow what is the game in general let's 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 take a look at that um you are a goat um surprise surprise and let's do the play one there's basically two modes in the game uh where um you either play just kind of do the progression campaign if you want to call it it's not really long or anything but let's call it campaign and there's a custom game mode where you choose for now one map and uh, one or all of uh, the three additional powers, which I believe you can get in the game as well. So you don't have to actually choose them. Um, but let's let's do the. Okay, there we go. Play one. So I want to say that there's like options wise, there's a couple of useful stuff. Like you can actually adjust the field of view, which is pretty cool for a goat simulator, I guess. And um, it has MSA and 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 you know you can. Turn off depth of field, etc. So it's, it's kind of it's decent. It's all right in in, in that in those terms. Um, anyhow, so back to the game. You are a goat. Uh, you can do that. You can do it multiple times. Oh wait, why are we doing that? I thought that only comes when I go to the devil thing. Anyway, maybe maybe I was wrong. So what you can do, you can move around with Wozd like so. Um, you, your uh, mouse also does kind of kind of looks or makes you look around but if you're looking at certain direction and press w you just go that way uh, you can pick things up if you lick them so if you press e you pick up this uh, watermelon kind of drag it around um, and you can then uh, either release it into the world or i believe that if you are grabbing something uh, and look at all the scores like jumping around uh, you can also then headbutt it into other things so you can also you can headbutt things that are just there uh, most of the th cars will, for example, blow up if you headbutt them, like so. And then you kind of die from, from that. Oh, we're here now. Uh, but um, you, you get up again. So you can also kind of kind of kill yourself and go into the ragdoll mode if you press Q. And then you fall down and do that. Um, and I kind of still move around, but then you just can get up. So there's no, there's no really no death or anything like that. And that, that's kind of what the impression I got. Um, uh, from the, from the, from the first trailer that you would just kind of be like the goat running around free without you know the score but I'm sure a lot of people actually love the score and it's like I would probably think it was a great idea that they had this score so let's take this car with us um, go take this car like over here I put it inside yep there we go and we got owned by a hillbilly uh, we can kill these people with a car I think uh, I'm not sure I can move that car still Ooh, hello no, I think we're, we're done in that sense. You can headbutt people, obviously. And get additional stuff for that. And, um, yeah. That's, 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 that's pretty much what you do. But the cars that are moving, if you headbutt them, or if you even try to do anything with them, it's not really going to work because um, they're, not, they're indestructible. There's different things you can wear as a goat. 
So if you come into this uh, little building where uh, things are launched at us, uh, I, I, know, I actually don't know what the thing is called. It's like a, in this case, a baseball launcher. Maybe that's what it's called. So if you kind of take, pick it up, you can put it on your on yourself and become the power pitcher. Uh, and you press R and you shoot those things and you got like additional score for that and you can attack people with things with that as well and you walk around with this thing. There's also a jetpack um, at one place in the game uh, which you can also pick up. Uh, yeah, you kind of basically kind of use this like a gun. Um, there's other goats. And this is a goat tower, which is a pretty cool place. One of the coolest say, places probably in the game, I think. So what you do in the goat tower is you go up the goat tower, you can attack this goat if you don't like him. So you headbutt the goat and um, carefully, easy, go up the tower, go up the tower. Oh yeah, spoilers by the way. So you see there's a fog thing there, kind of like Dark Souls. So you go in, I think, oh I can't go in because I'm wearing this thing, are you serious? Oh, well I'm on the tower now. Mm, that's a shame. I may have to respawn actually to not have the thing on my on my back. Because apparently, no, I can go in. There we go. So you're thrown into the goat castle, um, like a different dimension thing place, uh, where you, you can also smash things. But the main point is that when you're in the goat castle, um, you go into the throne room. You see all the goats, and as you're passing by, the goats will bow down to honor you. And I think you can also kick the shit out of these goats as well, even though they're kind of like your goats. So they all do that. And <laughs> you can still still mess up, mess them up. But anyhow, and then you get on the throne and I think it's, it's pretty cool. And you become the goat god or, or something similar. So goats for the for the goat, <laughs> for the goat throne. Uh, that's the achievement or whatever mode unlocked. So what, what, when you have that, what happens is, you press R. You obviously we already have this thing, but and, but also dead ghosts um, start dropping from the sky. You can see them just dropping on you. Again, pretty cool. Um, unfortunate there's points for that because it should be really just you know enjoying the the dead goats just falling down on you, really. So what you can also do with this is kind of troll the humans. Like go to a human gathering. Um, for example, there's one here. And uh, you can just, ooh, careful, easy, easy now, don't, do not let them know you're here. And then start, oh shit, I'm gonna start shooting if I do that. So let's do it this way. And hopefully some of the goats are gonna fall on them. Come on, oh, there we go. So you can bombard the <laughs> humans with dead goats. So yeah, like I said, it's, it's, there's, a, there's, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff in the game. Um, I think it's, it's, it's like it's all right for the price but the price I think is like 10 pounds or something like that you know it's probably not the most you can get in terms of um, minutes per whatever pound dollar thing but um, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun it's, it's something I, I think you, could, you should probably try out let's go to the devil worship place which I, I'm not sure what exactly is the point of that place um, th there it is but uh, Oh wait, I need to bring sacrifices. Actually, I haven't done this. Let's, let's so let's grab some humans and bring them, and I think we'll, we'll get some powers or something like that. So, oh hello party, what's up? Let's go. Uh, I think we go this way. Don't really want to have this thing on my back anymore, but I don't really have much choice about it. Okay, let's get up here. I think that's. I hope he's coming with me. Where is he? Come on, human. Let's go. Come on, where is he? Did I lose him? Oh, it's not easy. All right, let's try one more time. Oh shit, now he's on fire. Come on, come on, guy. What is wrong with you? There we go. Come on, don't be a dick. Let's go. We're gonna be sacrifice. Oh, there's a boulder here. I guess. Oh, this is how you can crash the party. You can go behind this thing, and uh, it's gonna mess up my human. But let's. I think not. It's gonna be fine. Like a human, stay there. 
Oh, I wish I had discovered this earlier. <laughs> oh, it didn't really work though. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so let's pick up the sacrifice. I'm actually kind of curious to see um, what that's going to result in. So let's go over here. Easy now, easy. Let's keep going. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is the other one. I can pick him up. I thought he got lost somewhere. So I brought the sacrifice. What's that? How many sacrifices do I need? Okay, stay there. Maybe that's not what he needs. Maybe he needs other goats. Oh wait, if, I, if he needs other goats, I can just bring them over here like that. Because they're gonna start falling, right? There we go. Whoa, what's this? Okay. Uh, R for demonic powers. We did the ritual. Uh, okay. Whoa. So I have all kinds of powers now. Okay, let's get out of this area. Oh, we just twist things in front of us and into like a giant ball of of things. Let's do that. Okay, let's twist. Oh, I also am a black goat now. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. Alright, come on. Pick it up. Pick everything up. Yes. And I'm assuming I can... Can I, can I take the car with me? There's smaller objects. Wheel. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is like this is like Dark Souls now. With wheel. Skeleton wheel. There's a lot of bodies here I can pick up. And the frame rate's gone down to 7. <laughs> and everything's on fire. Alright, okay. Cool. I got it. Can I... Yep. And we're, we're done. Okay, alright. Yep, so, yeah, that kind of stuff you can do. There's also the goat henge, which uh, can be destroyed. I think it's over here. And you can just kind of... I think it goes like a domino effect and it gets destroyed and you get it like an achievement for destroying the goat henge. Or maybe not, maybe you need to headbutt some of them as well. Possibly... Some sacrifices here. I'm not sure if there's any sacrifice you can do here, but yeah, that's the idea. Um, yeah, so this is basically what you do in uh, in a goat simulator. Um, as I said, it's, as you noticed probably me enjoying it. So I, I think it, it's kind of fun. It's, it's kind of okay. Uh, there's um, some sort of technical issues with it as well, which is sometimes you just get stuck under the ground, like between the surface, like you see, and you know you see like how he's like now with his legs touch. So it's it's very, it looks kind of like an, an alpha of a game or something like that, or, or a prototype, even though this is a full product released, etc. Uh, it doesn't really cause problems, uh, the technical issues I just mentioned, because you can just respawn at any time. Just do that and, and respawn, and you, and you come to the, the, this place here, um, and you can do the, the goat thing. <laughs> it's, just, it's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, so it's not, it's not a huge problem. Uh, it's, it's okay. Well, the frame rate just dies after this one. I think it's because of the fraps, but anyway. Let's let's go mess this house up. Alright, cool. Let's turn it off. Um, anyway, so yeah, so it's not it's not a huge issue because you can always, like I said, respawn and you're fine. Once I ended up flying um, out of the map area in some weird sort of non-game zone and I got stuck there. But then the game itself kind of reset me, so it was cool. Um, so it's not it's not something that necessarily breaks the game. Do, again, do not expect anything like this. Is basically what I showed you is is, is the area, and then within the area you can, um, you know, hunt the achievements, get weird stuff happening, like you know, upgrade your goat to the dead devil goat, um, get the jetpack, etc. If you if you're into this whole score thing, you know, get the scores. You can jump on trampolines. They're they're kind of cool. If you like a jetpack, and then as you're jumping on a trampoline, then you can launch up in like wall into air and do some distraction blah 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 it's the engine it's running this is running in is unreal and um, so you know like with comes obviously with with those 
or limitations of the Unreal Engine. Actually, we can try and get up on on the treehouse there. Oh, what, what? I, I, I can, okay, almost, anyway. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's, you know, if you played anything in Unreal Engine, whatever Unreal Engine can do, this is this is it. This, that's the level of the destruction, that's the level of, 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 of gameplay, sort of, you can, um, or interaction with the world, or I should say, you, you should expect. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can get it on Steam, there's a link in the description. Um, I think, I, I again, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure, but I think it's about £10, which is about, what, $12, I think. Um, and it has a lot of potential in the sense like people probably, they, I think there's a lot of positive response to this sort of thing and they'll probably keep making other goats or animals you can control and uh, or game modes and or maps and, and, as, uh, and, and such. So they, this, this game will probably have a, uh, uh, a longer um, shelf life than, than usual and I, I'm sure like PewDiePie and his fans are gonna play the shit out of this game. So, you know, there's that, there's, there's that factor as well. So yeah, guys, Goat Simulator. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, he does also the, the back thing with the, his hind legs. I didn't know he did that. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, I think he does that. Anyway, cool. So, Goat Simulator, hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, please consider supporting it any way you can. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.